Wednesday, July the 4th, scientists at CERN announced they found a new particle. I watched the announcement at the Lindau Nobel Laureate meeting, which this year was dedicated to physics. We have a discovery. We have discovered a new particle, a boson. Not only an X boson, but we have to find out which kind of X boson this is. It's a great day for physics. <laughs> it's a great day for particle physics. It's a great day for CERN. Many of the laureates had helped shape the standard model. What did they think about the announcement? Well, it makes me very sad because now there's nothing left. Have you ever thought about that? This is the last patch. We can go home now. No, no, it is not that. There is plenty of things to do. They have luminosity to be improved. There is, uh, <laughs> the machine to get fixed. There is the question of, uh, of other phenomena which may be there. And uh, most importantly, uh, we know now that we have dark matter. And the question is, uh, will dark matter have to do anything with elementary particle physics? Well, I think at this point we're not sure. Um, the standard model uh, doesn't really tell us much about dark matter. And a standard Higgs, if that was all there was, we wouldn't get any you know, inklings of what to expect. Certainly my hope would be whatever dark matter is, I would love to see that come out of uh, the Large Hadron Collider. What they announced the discovery of was a particle with a mass that they have measured now to perhaps a one or two percent accuracy. But particles have many properties. They have rotation, they have spin. They, a Higgs particle of any kind has to have spin zero. We don't know the spin of this particle. So all of those tests are now available uh, and uh, there are many, many more numbers to be measured and properties than just the existence of a particle and its mass.